Hi. Hello, you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> You're very friendly. Uh -huh. Would you mind filming me, please? <laughs> what we have to do is just sort of stroke the end as it's in focus and then just stare at me. <laughs> Hello, I'll start with a joke. Hello. Uh, do you want a joke? Do you like a joke, madam? Yes, this joke is just for you and everyone else. Um, uh, just just front this got bit them. here. This front bit here. Ah, yes, man. Yes. <laughs> this bit here. You were, you were in focus before. I was pretty. <laughs> a joke, a joke. My dog has no nose. How does he smell? Terrible. Oh, no. Uh, with his magic dick. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you think I'd say terrible? But that would be really bad form if I turned up and just went, so, um, what's uh, dangerous and yellow? Uh, shark and fetid custard. You know, that'd be shit, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what dangerous should no, I'm gonna do that. So um are you a couple? No? Are you friends? Are you a couple? Yeah. You're a couple. Hello. Uh, what's your name, sir? Dave. Dave, what's your name, Adam? Sophie. Sophie and Dave, lovely couple. Are, 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 have you met uh, each other's parents? Yes. Yeah, how was that experience? It's alright. Alright. Uh, you sound like you uh, <laughs> You're laughing. Why are you laughing? What happened? Nothing happened. Nothing, Nothing happened. happened. Are you, are you sure? Yeah. It was quite an intimidating experience. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, it was a very intimidating experience. Why are you giggling so much? Is Lysi? Like, did you try and kiss it, her dad? <laughs> no. No. Okay. Fine. That's fine. Well, all, all I was doing there was just wanted to talk about couples and stuff because I, um, I, I had a really weird experience when I had to meet my uh, my now ex's parents. I was trying to impress him, uh, trying to be like a big alpha male sort of thing. So she was like, I can protect you, your daughter. Um, but of course, I'm a, I've got to say it, a fat cunt. Um, so that doesn't really come across well, especially when I use the term fat cunt to uh, dad. So, um, uh, but I, I, so I tried to win him over with, uh, with Scrabble. Um, so I was playing Scrabble, trying to sort of convince him that I was the alpha male, and I was on the final go, and I was faced with a dilemma. Did I A, pass and risk being thought of as an idiot? Or did I B, play my last six remaining tiles on a triple word score to win by 28 points? With the word, rim job. <laughs> <laughs> now let me tell you, if you're ever in that situation, and you will be, don't play the word rim job. <laughs> I played the word rim job. Uh, the dad, Looked down, looked up, he didn't flinch. He just said, I think you'll find that's hyphenated. <laughs> <laughs> Joke there about the rules of Scrabble. So, uh, anyone here been to a Star Wars orgy? Star Wars orgy? I've recently had a Star Wars orgy. That's it, high five. There you go. Uh, it was pretty good, it was going pretty well until it turned out one of them was my father. <laughs> and I think I fancied my sister. Um, so, <laughs> there's that. Uh, but does anyone here have a dad? Yes! <laughs> One of you, a few of you. Uh, I have a dad, He's, he says things, he says things. Uh, some things are, are, are good, like um, look after the pennies and the pounds regard themselves. Uh, they do look after the pounds because they're worth a hundred times more than the pennies. Uh, things like that, little phrase, are quite helpful. Uh, other things are like, um, you can't make black pudding out of human blood. Which is, which is true. I mean, so you nodded there, so, so yeah. No, that sounds like a very adequate way of... Uh, yes, no, absolutely, yes. No, you can't make better than human blood. You can't make sausage human blood either, I imagine. It's cannibalism. <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> uh, when the cat's away, you've lost your cat. <laughs> so you, you best go look for the cat. Um, I'm going to continue now with my award-winning list of words I'd like to change. Thank you. The word palindrome is a word describing a word which can be read the same both forwards and backwards. However, the word palindrome is not a palindrome. I propose to change the word palindrome to palinilap. <laughs> the word onomatopoeia, which describes a word which is spelt as it sounds, is not spelt as it sounds. I propose to change the word onomatopoeia to OI! Spelt O E. <laughs> the word acronym I like, however it should not be the word formed from the initial letters of several other words. Acronym is a word of strength, so I propose it should mean strong strength, as in the man punched him in the face with acronym. <laughs> there are too many vowels in the word constants. I propose to change it to consent. <laughs> Similarly, there are too many constants in the word vowel. I propose to change it to OI. <laughs> the new words OI, meaning letters which are not consonants, and OI, meaning the words that spell it sounds, are too similar. I approach change the word OA to AYO. And similarly, OA should become the word formerly known as OA.
spelt O E. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the words gonorrhea and diarrhea are too similar. I prefer to change you to front rear and rear rear. <laughs> That is the end of my list of words I'd like to change. Thank you. Very much. Uh, thank you. So, uh, anyone else here have been single? Have been, have been single? You said you've been single. What, what was it like? This experience. Are you single now? Do you want? Are you? Are you, are you looking? No. Are you? Um, I, sorry. I, I you usually don't really talk to people before this bit because I don't do this joke. It's not based around you. Um, but when I'm, when I'm single, I like to masturbate quite a lot. Uh, that's why I didn't want to, you know, insinuate. But did, did anyone else here masturbate? Anyone else here ever masturbate? <laughs> None of you? You're all a bunch of lying ones. Um, yeah, no, I, I, uh, I like to masturbate, but what I do, I, this is a bit of a tip in case you are in that sort of situation. So what I like to do is I look to, um, sometimes when I'm masturbating, is I, uh, I sit on my hands uh, until it goes numb. So that way it feels like I'm uh, sat on someone else's hand. <laughs> you know, I was here to watch the X Factor. <laughs> Not while masturbating. That, we can leave that aside. That's gone. That moment's gone. Uh, the X Factor. I uh, I find it such weird. I'm sorry. I should explain. I'm doing a documentary uh, for my PhD, and it's about me trying to change the world. Uh, and I'm doing it through stand-up comedy. Uh, yes, that's right. Your taxpayers' money is going to good use. Uh, <laughs> but no, I, I, uh, so one of the things I really can't stand are these sort of talent shows, where these sort of people go on stage and they want to be famous and they want to sort of become something with their lives. Uh, and, and they sing songs and they're judged by their talents for how they look and how they, you know, and it's kind of weird, it's a weird sort of experience. It's all very manufactured and manipulated. Um, and one of the biggest experiences of this is obviously uh, Susan Boyle. Susan Boyle, do you know Susan Boyle? Uh, if you don't know who Susan Boyle is, uh, she, we are told she is an ugly woman who can now sing. Uh, and that's supposed to be a wonderful thing. Uh, you know, about as, as if that was, why, why was she judged as being ugly? Why did we have to make, to think that? I found that weird. But the really weird thing for me was the song that she sung. Because of the, of the song she sung was I Dreamed a Dream. I Dreamed a Dream. I don't know if you've... Uh, no, the original context, that's from the film uh, Les Miserables, Les Miserables, uh, which is a French film, French film, uh, it, which means the, the sads, the sads. Um, it's a documentary, uh, <laughs> based in the 50s. Uh, it's about a bunch of sad people who, who want to learn how to sing. But anyway, one of the people in it has, um, is a prostitute, and she's forced to go into prostitution to feed a starving daughter, and she sells her own teeth and cuts off her hair and sells it as a wig and she's lying destitute in the ground having men paying her money to fuck her she sings I dreamed a dream and that dream is for her daughter to survive and live and have a happy life but for Susan Boyle it's more like I'd like a record contract please you know, do you not see that sort of I find that weird, I find that weird um, yeah. But I am. Um, I, um, I'm quite fat as a as a human being. Uh, is anyone else here fat? Anyone else here fat? <laughs> no? A few nods. I'm quite fat. They say the camera adds ten pounds. Uh, it's not true. It's very hard to eat a camera. Um, <laughs> but no, I uh, so I, I do a lot of comedy, and usually when I go to comedy gigs, I, I drink a lot of beers, and beers make me even fatter. Um, and I want to lose some weight, I want to become a healthier, better person. Uh, because like, I remember like, growing up, I've always been fat. And I, I, I went to a dietitian once, and the dietitian said to me, you know, don't worry, it's, it's, it's just puppy fat, it's just puppy fat. Um, and I remember thinking at the time, how did he know I'd eaten a puppy? <laughs> but I want to change myself, and, and the only way I know, I know how is to do, instead of doing drinks at a gig, I want to do some, some you know, Exercise. So, so, would you join me on stage, please? Round of applause. What's your name? Jose. Jose! Come on stage! Now, Jose. Um, you're a lovely man. Where are you from? Colombia. Colombia? Oh my god, that's amazing. Are you from Colombia as well? No. 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 <laughs> yeah, she looks totally Colombian. <laughs> um, oh. oh. Don't worry, I've got a backup. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Jose, I, um, I need some assistance. Uh, I need you to give me some sort of nice words to make me feel better and to get me through this event. I, I'm not very good at uh, sort of things, so you can give me nice compliments and say nice things about me. Oh, you're good. Oh, thank you very much, thank you very much. Uh, 
that now I don't respond to compliments well or drumming. I uh, <laughs> I uh, I need you to shout abuse at me. Otherwise, I won't be able to do it. I'm a lazy twat essentially, and I need people to tell me I'm fat, and horrible, and, and, and a poor human being. Otherwise, I'll never get better. Uh, is that okay? So would you all shout abuse at me while I do some uh, exercise? Is that okay? Yes. Yeah. Come on, I said. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah. Right, yeah, say something they... horrible to me. Come on! <laughs> something terrible. Tell me I'm horrible. Tell me I'm a troll. Tell me I'm a hairy twat of a human being. Tell me I'm a furry ball of shit and poo. Come on, madam, tell me something horrible. Oh, you're ugly. Oh, you're, oh yes, God, yes. Ugly sick. I'll be you better than that. Come on, come on, go, go, go. go. What did you say? What did you say? Fat bastard, come on, yes! Come on, I want more! Give me more! Come on, somebody, abuse me! Somebody! Abuse me! I'm not gonna get fit if you do this! Come on! So you hate me. Oh! I hate you too, thank you! Come on, come on, somebody else! Say something horrible, what are you okay? Huh? <laughs> I'm doing okay. I'm doing two things, sir. <laughs> Someone abuse me! Thank you very much. Uh, uh, sorry about that, it's very experimental, uh, as you can probably tell. Uh, have I changed the world, sir? Oh, <laughs> oh, sorry. Thank you very much. Well, um, I'm going to leave you now on a um, saying uh, from my dad. He's, he means a lot to me. He said it on, um, on his deathbed. On his deathbed. I shared with a lot of people, so I said, I'm to share with I say deathbed, it's more a cow tree. Um, and he's more hungover, but uh, <laughs> it's fine. Because of this. Give a man a dog, and he'll be happy for a day. But teach a man to dog. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Sketch show on, which is happening at the moment, so you'll have to go tomorrow. Uh, but it's, it's just down at uh, in Opium at 2.45. It's another free show, all new stuff. Uh, uh, and you're a guy who's all, uh, just before Richard has got another show called Feeds a Crowd, which is at 7.35 in Chiquito, on, uh, over the other side of town. Uh,